assalamu alaikum guys how are you hopefully you are good and enjoying your life uh, students today is the 10th lectures related to the cst learning and uh, in this lecture uh, i practically perform that uh, how to use the parametric sweep now <clears throat> first of all we have to enter into the cst software into the cst software i have open already a file which is related to the sample of a file of uh, ultra wideband antenna now before applying the parametric sweep first of all we have to know that what are the parameters actually in the cst interface this window which have written a parameter list we have a uh, several parameters like h l l b cut l f you can see that there are different types of parameter lists and what are these parameters these are the parameters by changing these values actually the physical behavior of this antenna is changed <coughs> for example if ws is equal to 0.5 it means the width of the slot if we change the value of this for example 0.7 0.9 then somewhere in the in its background the width of the slots may be widened because of changing of this parameters similarly some other parameters like width is 20 if we change this value 20 to 30 then the width of the substrate change to 30 and in physically it also shown that the width is also increased now sometime your professor asks you to uh, make a parametric sweep to the these parameters and give me at least three to four uh, answers three to four results therefore what you can do then at this stage you have to apply the parametric sweep in this video i will tell you how to use this feature if you saw this window in the top toolbar in the home section we have a different positions like clipboard we have a settings we have a simulations we have a mesh and we have these things in the simulation folder we have option of parameter sweep we have to press there parametric sweep in the parametric sweep we have a window appear like this it's look like as a time domain solver now first of all we have to decide which parameter you select on which you want to apply the parametric sweep suppose this is the parameter name w and its value is 20 and it is the width of the substrate okay now you have to make a sequence a new sequence for this parametric sweep we have pressed this new sequence in the new sequence first you select and in the second position we have a new parameters in the new parameters in the top position where this there is a written a name we have a different types of parameters these are the parameters which appear here are actually the parametric list this parametric list are shown here in this parametric switch positions it actually shows that which parameter you want to select suppose i say that i want to select this w therefore w is here when you press w the initial value of the w is 20 <coughs> okay now it's clearly shown that from which to which suppose you want to start this value from 6 okay you take the starting point of substrate to 6 and you want to reach at 20 or you maybe you move toward 25 
okay and the type you select should be linear sweep we have uh, another thing also a logarithmic sweep and a arbitrary points but you should select the linear sweep and define using the number of samples we have two functions like number of samples and the step width which you want you can select according to the demand of your professor and how many sample you want to take in between the points from 6 to the 25 you have to select the number of samples suppose if you want to take the five samples from 6 to the 25 you have to make the changes and write here as a 6 it means that now the points between 6 to the 25 is divided into the six different path look like as if we, I press ok you clearly watch this first position is 6 second is 9.8 and third and fourth and 25th is divided into the six equal part now if you want to make a parameter sweep of more than one variables then you have to add some more like new parameters suppose you want to apply the parameters on wf if the initial value is wf is 3.8 we have take it as a 2 and add at 3.85 and we want to the number of sample up to 2 and press ok now in the sequence number 1 we have the two parametric sweep and in the parametric sweep we have two variables in the one variable we have to take six samples it's mean six attritions and the wf it is two attritions because we select two samples now after this if you want to edit it you can you can also add it with the help of this button now simple if you want to check what happen if you select these values then you press check when you this when you check press it actually shows the physical changes in the antenna now after doing that you have to start and after starting it can simulate on these sample values it's mean this parameters on six time and this on two times <clears throat> and at the end you have to close it after starting you have to close it and what happen if these simulations ends suppose I have a results of this antenna that this is the single result of antenna it means it is a ultra wideband antenna with single parameters now if you want to check the parametric plot suppose we have a <coughs> these attritions one two three four up to 70 attritions and the parametric sweep applied on these parameters like lb cut lf lg ls w cut wf i actually applied the parametric sweep on different parameters if you want to check or if you want to select five to four different values suppose we want to select this you want to select this you want to select this you want to select this if you select at least four and you have a four results and you want to know what are the comparison between these results and you have to select it and in this position we have a plot selected <clears throat> in the plot selected you can clearly check that the comparison what is the result of s113 position s116 position s1110 position s1114 position its parametric sweep is actually give you a comparison of results it means that in the single iterations we have multiple iterations 
and you're totally dependent on the number of the samples that you first decided in the parametric sweeps. If the number of the samples are more, it means the number of the attritions are also increases. However, if the number of the samples are less, the comparison is also less. Therefore, in this video, I wanted to tell you that how to use the parametric sweeps, what are the benefits and how to save your time by using this. Hopefully you understand this topic, how to use the parametric sweep. If you have any difficulty, you have any questions related to the CST, Studio Suite or any type of antenna designing, you may message to me in the comment sections, also email to me, which is shown in your computer screen. Okay, bye.